All right, Simon. So uh, just a quick video on uh, Hey Brother, because I know we didn't really get around to finishing that. Um, uh, we missed the lesson this week. So not to worry, I'm just going to go through that with you. So the way we were doing it, um, I had a closer listen to it there, because remember I was saying it was kind of hard to hear what was going on in the just with the phone speaker. So better way to do it is to, because it's in G minor, right? So you're starting off with that chord there. So there's the G minor. <clears throat> so to make that a bit easier for, for all the other chords, and you know, they're not actually power chords. I thought they sounded like it, but... Um, so that's, you could play it like that, but um, what would be better is if you get your capo, Stick it on to the third fret, so now G uh, E minor becomes G minor. So you can just play an E minor, and you can still have that if you just hold your E minor chord. But as well as that, you can liven it up a little bit by including some of the other notes. So I'm just going down on the bass string and sort of picking it up, maybe third string, maybe even second string, coming up like that. So you start off just with the sixth string and the fourth string. But you could add in maybe the third string then. Like that. So you're going, so the first verse. Hey, hey brother. Another. Can't remember the lyrics, but, but yeah, so you've got C after that. G. Blood is thicker, so D there. And back to E minor, and, so, and then the chorus is <clears throat> for the Hey Sister, but it's it's uh, exactly the same. So <clears throat> so then you've got O D when the sky can see falling down D for you. There's nothing, and on the nothing there, uh, no, as in nothing in this world I wouldn't do. It's it's actually. A, if you listen carefully, it's a G6. So that's just G without the third finger. So basically what you're doing there is you're adding that E note. Now I know that's not actually a G, that's a B flat, but we'll just, we're playing it like it's a G, so we'll call it that. So it's bringing the G up three frets, brings us to B flat, but we'll just call it G. Okay, so, so you're, there's a G note there. So that's, but you've got a G note here and here. So by having a G note here, Harmonically speaking, you're not actually adding anything anything to the chord, but as soon as you take it off and you've got that E note, that E note wasn't there previously, so that's a new thing in the chord. And the reason it makes it a six and not anything else is because if you count up in the scale, now you don't need to know the scale, but if you count up in the scale from G, so there's your G, open G string, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a G chord with a six in it, basically. So there's nothing in this world I wouldn't do. Okay, so I'll just go through that section again. So you've got D, O, G, when the sky comes, C, fall, and D, for you. There's nothing, there's that G6, in this world I wouldn't do. Okay, so then that's the second section. And then you've got the, uh, Actually, it's not like that. Yeah, so it's, you've got the... Oh, brother, I will hear your call. And then it goes back to the E minor. And then, so in the big sort of instrumental... So it's just E minor, G, and by E minor, C, G, back to the E minor again. All right. So uh, you might want to go over that uh, a couple of little times, but that's all there is in it. So capo on the third fret, and you've just got E minor, C, D, G, and uh, I think that's that are, those are the only four chords in it. So um, uh, yeah, so yeah, give that a go. And and as I said, down, up, down, up, and you can start adding in other notes then, just to kind of build the intensity a bit. And don't be afraid to deviate from it a little bit. So, like something like. You know, you can sort of pick through the chords. And on the, on the record, they're just going. Well, they're picking that one. But then it's just single strums. But 
you can, you know, add your own little thing into it. And don't forget about those variations in the chords. There's C. D, a couple of things you can do there with the E string. So yeah, have a look at that and see if you can play along with it from start to finish. All right, talk to you next week.